Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing very well and in this session we are going to discuss about uh, ROC AUC curve, its python code I am going to tell you line by line explanation thereafter we are going to draw the curve and we'll understand its interpretation and we have already discussed one lecture on ROC AUC so you can watch that also and thereafter you can come to this lecture so that you will get the things betterly right. However, ROC AUC curve basically ROC stands for receiver operating characteristic and AUC stands for area under curve. Basically it is a kind of trade off between precision and recall. Uh, one thing is that accuracy. So uh, accuracy only tells us that how many correct predictions are made. But on the other hand, whenever we talk about ROC AUC curve, it tells about true positive rate and false positive rate, right? So it is the relationship between true positive rate and false positive rate. And it is a kind of trade off between precision and recall. So ROC AUC curve will ultimately tell us that how good our algorithm is, right? So ROC curve at the end when we will generate it is a kind of probability curve, right? And AUC is a degree of measurement for separability, right? So there are some steps that you must know then step one is we need to impl we need to import some libraries here like numpy like uh, sklearn like matplotlib and after that we need to do the synthetic data generation in the step two in step three we are going to perform classifier we need to train a classifier and in step four we are going to compute predictions and roc auc curve and in step five we are further finally going to plot the auc roc curve right so we are just uh, importing numpy libraries as npnp's uh, alias representing numpy library thereafter we are importing test and train split from sklearn library and the function is model underscore selection further we are importing one more important function or you can say that mac classification basically it is for synthetic data generation from sklearn library and we are further going to import one more function that is logistic regression for training our classifier. So we can write just from sklearn.linear model, we can import the important code for logistic regression. And after that, when we are going to compute the predictions, so we can compute the prediction for ROC AUC with the help of sklearn.matrix import ROC curve and ROC AUC score. And thereafter for generating them, for generating a, a graphical representation of ROC AUC curve, we can utilize matplot library as matplotlib.pyplot as plt, right? Now, we need to generate a synthetic data set here and for that we can utilize x comma y equal to mac classification and here we are generating a synthetic data set. So we have just put the random data as a sample 1000. We have selected features as a 20, two classes are there and random state is 42, right? Just a synthetic data set we have generated. And after that, we are going to uh, split this data set into training and testing. So for you know that X underscore train, X underscore test and Y underscore train, Y underscore test. And we can utilize the train underscore test underscore split from sklearn library. And uh, we can write the code X comma Y test size is 0 0.3 random state we have fixed 42 after that we need to initialize the classifier so for that we can write classifier equal to logistic regression and we are utilizing this from uh, import uh, uh, sklearn dot linear model import logistic regression from this line right and solver equal to lib linear and random state already selected as a 42 right after that we are going to after initializing the classifier we need to train the classifier and for training the classifier we can write it like classifier dot fit x underscore train comma y underscore train and after training the classifier we can predict the probability and for that we can just write it like uh, y underscore prob basically this is a variable equal to classifier dot predict probability and uh, we can write x underscore test and this is a just a kind of python syntax we can write just colon comma one and after, for after this after predicting the probabilities for the test 
set we can compute ROC curve and for that we can write FPR that is false positive rate, TPR that is true positive rate and threshold for different different threshold values across different different cutoff threshold values uh, we are going to generate it right. So FPR is false positive rate, true positive rate and threshold equal to ROC underscore curve Y test and Y probability is based on the test cases and Y probability it is going to compute it and after we can also compute AUC score. AUC underscore score equal to ROC underscore AUC underscore score, which we have uh, just utilized from the uh, SKLN libraries dot matrix. Various matrices are existed here, and we can import ROC underscore curve function from it and ROC underscore AUC score uh, function from it, right? And uh, after that, we can just print F AUC score and in the curly brackets we have written AUC underscore so it is going to print AUC score there and after that we can plot RO, uh, ROC curve so uh, let me try to execute it and I will tell you that after plotting the ROC curve what these lines are indicating right so you can see here that our ROC curve is generated and I am just zooming so that uh, you can learn it better so you can see first line is plot figure figure size is add by six so length and width of this graph is add by six plot plt basically matplotlibrary is used here plt dot plot fpr false positive rate true positive rate color is blue for this particular true positive class and false positive rate this color is blue we have set here and label is roc curve right so you can see that the label we are using here is a ROC curve. This blue line is representing ROC curve. It is label and area is AUC score 0.2F. So uh, this is the precision, right? Up to which we are seeing the uh, output. After that, PLT dot plot 0, 0,1, 0, 0,1. So you can say that 0, 0,1, 0, 0,1. This line is there and color is gray and line style is dashed. Line style is dashed. For this line, we have generated it. After that, PLT dot X label. So X label, we have generated false positive rate. So X label is named false positive rate. And uh, PLT dot Y label. Y label is uh, named as true positive rate. So Y label is true positive rate. After that, PLT dot title. Title of the plot is receiver operating characteristics, ROC curve. You can see here, receiver operating characteristics, ROC curve. After that, PLT dot legend equal to lower right. So we have put the legend that is here on the lower right ROC curve, right? Just here we have print ROC curve. So this, this is uh, just uh, lower right PLT dot legend ROC curve is here, right? Area is 0 0.91. PLT dot grid. You can see the grid style here under background. This grid is because of it. And PLT dot show is finally for showing this plot. And here you can see the AUC score is 0.9142 because of this print statement, right? So this is how if we can just uh, use the synthetic data set and uh, plot ROC AUC curve uh, for uh, uh, predicting that how accurate our algorithm is, how better our algorithm is. So basically uh, ROC AUC curve, uh, basically ROC range between uh, 0.1 to you can say that uh, 1.0 and uh, if it is closer to 1.0 means our algorithm is better and if our a uh, ROC curve area is uh, bit, uh, uh, across 0 0.5 then we can say that it is good for m base model but if it is lesser than 0 0.50 then we can say that the algorithm is not as much good and if it is greater than 0 0.5 then we can say that it is uh, okay base model and if it is closer to 1.0, as you can see here is 0.91 means it is a better algorithm means algorithm is good for uh, 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 for just uh, uh, solving our purpose or you can say that for predicting the uh, true positive rates right and false positive rates. So basically uh, just bit uh, just for the trade off between precision and recall. Uh, for just uh, evaluating our machine learning model that uh, how good an algorithm is, we can utilize this ROC AUC particular curve. I hope the session is going to be utilized for your further research studies. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Please stay tuned and subscribe for more such video lectures. Have a nice day guys. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.